Linda Fisher brings out Casper, a boarder at Kenlin Arabian Stables. He's a calm and friendly older horse. That may be why thieves had an easy time cutting off his tail, something a younger or more skittish horse would not have tolerated. Owned by an uh, older lady, came the next morning and found his tail cut off and his mane chopped up. Casper lives on a more secluded side of the stables. Thieves snuck in and out without anyone noticing. This horse's tail was very thick. Um, clear to the ground, so it was a nice hunk of tail for somebody to steal. Horse hair theft is nothing new, but some horse experts say it has increased in recent years. The hair being used to make jewelry, bridles, pottery, and as seen here in this instructional video, tail extensions. Horse extensions are very popular now in some breeds. They'll use those in horse shows. The costs range from under 10 bucks for a bag of hair to hundreds of dollars for a full thick tail. Linda, as well as others, have a theory as to why. We have no slaughterhouses anymore that um, people can go to to get tails. I think that I am a proponent that the slaughterhouses should be opened and then we'd have a place to go for infirm, sickly, you know, horses. While Aurora police say they haven't heard of this being a problem here, several Wyoming counties have been going through a crime spree with more than 100 recent cases, all of the crimes happening at night. I don't know what the solution is. As far as Casper, he's left with no way to swat biting flies. And at a growth rate of six inches per year, it could be years before his tail reaches the ground again. It's just a shame.